My name is John Gerard, and I am an artist uh, working principally within the medium of simulation, uh, producing uh, virtual worlds as contemporary art. Perhaps the best known work is a piece called Western Flag. I'm just going to share this with you, um, in which a flag of smoke recalls uh, the great carbon release of the 20th century, um, which began in Texas in 1901 with the first big oil strike at Spindletop. That has been shown worldwide on major LED walls in the landscape here in uh, California. Uh, this is part of COP25 in Madrid, presented by uh, TBA21 and Thyssen Bonomitsa Museum. Um, more recently, I've turned my attention to the subject of uh, the burning ocean, the ocean which is absorbing over 90% of the heat that industrialized nations are producing. And this is both a flare um, and uh, a gas flare and also uh, the vision of a, of a national flag combusting simultaneously. Uh, it was premiered at uh, COP26 in, in Glasgow by um, uh, Art of Change 21 and the University of Glasgow. And here is the activist uh, Oli Lucy from Tonga uh, who worked closely with me on this piece um, uh, in front of the work uh, in that site. So I'm just going to stop sharing and come back. Um, so really, I think my um, core message is that uh, art uh, in the public domain um, at scale can potentially affect and move the public in ways that uh, perhaps numbers or words just simply can't. And I think it's important to support artists um, speaking of subjects of power and energy uh, to give them uh, space in the public domain at scale um, and the hope is that they will move the public in, in unexpected ways to address um, the crisis which we, we currently face. Um, thank you to Art2030 uh, for inviting me to um, present um, to the UN on this subject.